Hi. Um, very good afternoon to everybody. Thank you so much for having me here. I started a little company called Desi Crew, which was India's first rural BPO. Uh, it's an oxymoron, really, trying to do a BPO in a village. Uh, but we successfully created the model, and today it's a niche industry in itself. Um, and subsequently, I stepped down to start something which is safecity.in, which is a not-for-profit. And I'm currently heading another initiative, which is a not-for-profit trying to spin off a for-profit. So in the social enterprise space, I think I've tried my hands at all the different formats. And um, I was very keenly listening to uh, you know, everybody talk before me. And I have a question for the panel, actually. Um, you know, I want to go back in time to 1999, when all of us used to use landlines. Uh, I still remember I, used, I was in hostel, and I used to stand in a queue to uh, get a call from my parents every evening or every other day. And uh, in 2001, suddenly, so in 1999 or 2000, it was 15 rupees for an incoming call. And uh, when I was in third year of college, suddenly the prices dropped, and it was free incoming. Um, and who put those phones in the hands of the autowalas and the rickshaw pullers and the maids and everybody else? Um, it was a very selfish company called Reliance, uh, who came and crashed the market. From your definition earlier, would you call Reliance a social enterprise? And I think the largest impact in the show, social spaces I see is something that they created. You put all of us together, and I don't think we've created that kind of impact today. And um, that sort of brings me to the thing that it's scale and capital that really, really make that difference. Um, and often, all of us get so uh, entrenched in you know, creating that impact and measuring that impact that we forget that a social enterprise is an enterprise first and you know, also has a social impact. And if it does its job really well as an enterprise, it will, it will have a far greater social impact than we can imagine. Um, and, you know, having gone to some of these conferences where we talk about social enterprises, I heard Sam Petroda talk once, um, which got stuck in my head. Uh, and he said that, you know, most entrepreneurs are busy solving the problem of the rich. Um, so I think the way all entrepreneurs need to look at this space really is that it's that little thing that all of us sit down in the evening and crib about, or things that we abuse when we are trying to drive our car from place A to place B, um, or things that really bother us, but, you know, we keep saying, you know, they should do it. Well, who are those they? If it's not us, then who are those they? Um, and if it's not now, then when are we going to do it? Because right now, there is more opportunity and um, more capital available. There's more openness in the system than there was ever before. Um, so all I'd like to say today is that um, anything that's, that's you know, in your circle or in your group that you're cribbing about every day for months and years, just figure out something small to start and look at it as a business opportunity rather than a social initiative. And you will make a much larger difference today um, in things around us. Thank you so much.